Robin Adler from Toxic Beauty Blog. Today I want to talk to you about choosing your organic or natural products. I have a little story to tell you. About a couple years ago I was going to go on a trip and I just uh, ran to the drugstore and bought a supposedly natural toothpaste. So I've had this toothpaste for a couple years. I only use it when I go on trips. So um, recently I ran out of my tooth powder of which we make ourselves and you can uh, find my video for that. It's really easy. And um, so I went to go get my toothpaste that I always use when I travel. So I was just using it, you know, for like a week or two. And then my boyfriend looked on the back of the ingredients. I hadn't even looked on the back of the ingredients for years. And he's like, oh, did you see this? It has sodium lauryl sulfate in it. And I was pretty surprised because I usually choose not to use that ingredient in anything. And here it was in this toothpaste that was supposedly natural. Now I want to show it to you. It's Tom's of Maine Natural Anti-Plaque Tartar Control Plus Whitening. Now you would think that because it's natural it wouldn't have sodium lauryl sulfate in it. Now I actually went on their website and it's funny I searched on Google sodium lauryl sulfate and it's funny like Tom's was the first, the first um, result. So they claim that sodium lauryl sulfate is derived from coconut and that it's safe. However, I beg to differ. Um, sodium lauryl sulfate is connected with irritation, skin, eyes, hair, lung irritation, organ system toxicity, cancer, um, and another concern is that it can be contaminated with a carcinogen known as 1,4-dioxane. So I choose not to use that. Um, and, you know, also claims are that it's not really harmful because you're only ingesting or taking in a tiny, tiny bit at a time. But as with most cosmetics, the thing that you're, that you have to be careful of is the gradual buildup of these different chemicals in your body. So if you can, I would avoid sodium lauryl sulfate in your toothpaste. And the most important thing when choosing um, natural products is looking at ingredients and I guess a couple of years ago I wasn't as um, savvy maybe as now but now that I know that I'm going to use a different brand when I do use toothpaste I really like a brand called The Natural Dentist um, they have it on Lucky Vitamin toxicbeautyblog.com slash LV and I really love it they have a mouth rinse too that's really awesome or you can make the tooth powder recipe that I have it's made with baking soda essential oils and it's it's great for your teeth uh, but sometimes I just like to use a toothpaste um, I'm gonna be doing a DIY um, toothpaste recipe soon with coconut oil because I absolutely adore coconut oil for everything so I hope you enjoyed this little tip once again when choosing natural products natural is not really um, is not a term that you can trust all the time so check your ingredients out and as always visit me at toxic beauty blog or shoot me an email send me some comments down below and I can help answer any questions you might have this has been Robin Adler stay natural stay beautiful go green